I particularly loved it coming up here, the way you leave something wide and open, and the wideness and openness of the drive here, these huge Texas skies. And then you, you come down to something kind of more concentrated and intimate and almost secret feeling. This feels like a little sort of hidden valley. I've only been to three, I think three other, yeah, I think I'm going to do three other canyons that have sort of this incised rim to rim, which we're seeing geologically. Again, I said this is sort of unusual to have both sides, um, you know, um, the underhangs. I think this space um, matters, and you feel like it matters right away when you walk in. Uh, partly because of the scale of it. It's both big and not too big. I think place really matters. Being in nature is such an equalizer. The way that God sets up these, the space, that we can feel small in a space, it is the beginning of a conversation. Neither you nor I, nor uh, a whole army of people can make a place like this. We, we are, it's, it's beyond our capacity to form. And, um, and so there's something powerful here. There's a larger reality here that kind of humbles us. Our modern lives are so machined and the textures are so uniform and you walk into this kind of space and it's just all this sort of there's rough, there's smooth, there's water, there's dry, there's green, there's browns, all kinds of browns and we human beings are right to seek out these places because we find out things about ourselves in them that we would never find out in more controlled and homogenous environments. Actually, in an age of constant stress and pressure where everything is trying to get at you and get a piece of you, a place that just is still and you know you're going to have to wait, that becomes very attractive. The very fact that it doesn't disclose what it has to disclose immediately. <laughs> 